Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Um, I am going to use my shopping channel for my Happy Meal now. So any Happy Meal I get, I'm going to put it up on my shopping channel because I need a bit of a boost on that um, channel because I put up whatever I buy, you know, when I'm shopping. But, you know, I, can't, I can only put so much on because... I can't keep on going buying things that I don't need just to make the videos. So I thought best if I put my um, Happy Meal on here because it is what someone else has bought. It is what they've shopped and bought and sent to me. So I figured it's any Happy Meal I get now will be on this channel. And most of my subscribers on this channel know about my other channel, my Sheila's Knitting Tips and other stuff because that's where they've come from for this channel. But anyone that doesn't uh, know anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting my Happy Meal on this channel. And I received Happy Meal this morning. Big bag here. I'm going to open it up. I think I know who this is from because a lady did message and ask me, but um, I'll wait until I open it first to make sure I'm right. Because I haven't opened it up yet. I think I find some way to snip the parcel. I think there's another parcel inside to, oh, to slip open too. Just made sure it wasn't going to open in the post, which I suppose could happen. Because it is at a large parcel and it is probably heavier than what it would be normally. This is only one little bit of tape on here I'll probably have to cut. I can really put it down on the floor and put it my computer. Uh, yes, I do know who it's from. It's from Angela. But I don't know whether she's put anything in. But she did email me and tell me. So this is... Oh, the labels off some of them. I hope there's another bag inside. I'll take it out. This is super chunky, which would be ideal for my bowls and the bags that I make. That's what Angela thought when um, she messaged me. So that's some weight. There are little bits as well. Is the label? Oh, this was mariners. This, you know, you can't get mariners anymore. You put the labels inside, so it's mariners super chunky. And this is approximately eighty meters. You don't get a lot in super chunky in a hundred grams. <laughs> but mariners was a very good wool. This was all must be the white. It's all got the same dye lot on all two. So there's that full ball and oh there's another label in there as well. I'll take that one out. There was a lady in I think she was in the United States was asking me for for labels one time. I did send her a um a packet with labels in. I can't remember the lady's name. I'll have to look through my book. I don't know whether she, I know she did message me and was asking when I had sent it because she hadn't got it after quite a while. And I don't know whether she ever did get that packet, but if she hasn't, if she just messaged me, I will sort out. I've got lots of labels. I can send some more to her. It didn't cost very much in a, um, just an ordinary envelope. It doesn't cost very much to go abroad, just over a couple of pounds, I think, something like that. But I know I do remember the lady had messaged me because she hadn't received it. But she didn't message back again whether she received it later. It was quite some time ago. Oh, there's lots of bits here. In there, that's the white in there, the bits. I'll put those in that bag to keep them together. 
they must all be up to see him die. Die lost. So that was some from Mariners. And there are some more. It's, these are probably Mariners as well, I would think. Oh, there's actually one in a. They're being done on a, a wool winder, a cake. So there's some. I suppose you call that royal blue. That's royal blue. It's a nice blue, that royal blue. It's nearly like my cardigan's navy blue, so it's a little bit, not quite light. A bit lighter than my cardigan. There's some navy blue. That's nearer the colour of my cardigan here. Yeah. And uh, I'll call that a cornflower blue. So I can probably mix these in, you know, with some of the smaller balls and a little bit of grey. Some light blue. Turquoise. And a bit more. Light blue and no, cornflower blue and navy blue. I'll put these back in here. I'm going to drop them all in a minute. <laughs> So anything I make with these will not take long because it's so thick. It's just ideal for the um, the bowls and the bags that I make. And there's another bag. Oh, these are full bowls. It looks like it's all mariners. You know, it's a pity mariners went out of business and were very good. Wasn't just a good wool, the prices were very inexpensive. You know, a lot of places charge a fortune for. So I have two full balls of. I think you have to take them out. Oh, just, there's just a hole in one side of the bag. There's two balls of the turquoise. These are full balls. One ball of the, the navy. Then down. One ball of the royal. Doesn't tell you the colour on here, it just tells you the shade. And three balls of the white. That's in this bag. I'll put these ones back. <laughs> There's just one little hole in the side of the bag where Angela must have been using the just the hole to get the wool out <laughs> instead of destroying the bag. That's that's what I do as well when I have big bags like this. I just put a hole in the side and take out the wool as I want it. So I'll probably make make the balls on my bags and I'll probably mix one ball of this with one ball of chunky and that will make them thick enough. So that's another one I've put down there. There's another bag in here as well. Put a few more. So that's what's in the bag. So there's yeah, there's one ball of the what I call cornflower blue. There's one one ball of the navy, one ball of the the royal, one ball of the the light blue, and one ball of the turquoise. So that's actually three full balls of turquoise. Uh huh. Um. Two balls, full balls of the royal, and two full balls of the navy, plus all the the little bits that were in here, and the bits to go with the white. So I have one, two, three full balls of the white, plus that is probably probably full ball there, I would think, and the little bit. So there's probably about the equivalent of five balls of the white. So that will go a long way. So. That's my happy meal today. So thank you very much, Angela. This is all going to come in very handy. It's going to save me some time actually um, crocheting. 
I hope I've got a hook big enough for this. I never checked to see what size hook it's in the bag. I'll have a look when one of the bags is. I never, don't think I've ever knit with super chunky, so I'm not sure what size hook I need. I think I have hooks up to size 10. US 15. Oh, 10 millimeter. <laughs> 10 millimeter or US 15, so I'm okay. That's as big as the hooks I have, up to 10 millimeter. So I'll be using 10 millimeter on um, these ones. So they'll get made up a lot quicker than what I do. I usually use 8mm on the uh, the bowls and the, the bags on the um, the chunky, but, but this is super chunky, so I'm going to be using a bigger hook. I'll put that back in that bag now. So that's my first happy meal on my Sheila's shopping and cooking channel i'm going to add um happy meal to that title as well so thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you all another time so bye for now